Launched by NASA in 1977, Voyager 2 stands as one of humanity's most extraordinary accomplishments in space exploration. More than four decades later, this incredible spacecraft continues to send valuable data from its journey through the immense reaches of space. What has it uncovered over these years? Humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge and insatiable curiosity about our solar system and beyond drive this mission forward. Voyager 2 shows no signs of slowing down in its quest to inspire and inform. So strap in tight, it's time to embark on a journey to the edge of the solar system. Crossing the heliopause marks a remarkable achievement in space exploration. The sun creates a vast bubble around itself called the heliosphere, filled with charged particles known as the solar wind. These particles travel far into space until they meet particles from the interstellar medium, which come from stars and other celestial sources. The heliopause is the boundary where the solar wind can no longer push against the interstellar medium, defining the edge of the sun's bubble. In November 2018, Voyager 2 became the second human-made object to cross this boundary after Voyager 1. This boundary is where the solar wind emitted by the sun meets the interstellar medium, the matter between stars. When Voyager 2 passed this threshold, it recorded a sudden drop in solar wind particle density and an increase in interstellar particles, confirming that it had exited the heliosphere, leaving the sun's influence behind. During its historic crossing, Voyager 2's plasma detector, an instrument designed to measure electrically charged gas in space, remained operational. The spacecraft discovered that plasma in interstellar space was denser than the plasma within the heliosphere. This groundbreaking finding enhanced scientists' understanding of the environment beyond the sun's reach. Unlike Voyager 1, Voyager 2's functional plasma instrument allowed for direct measurements of plasma density, uncovering a significant increase in density outside the heliosphere. These observations deepened our knowledge of the transition zone and the interactions between the heliosphere and interstellar space. Voyager 2's magnetic field observations provided significant insights. Cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles originating from events like supernovae, are partially deflected by the solar wind within the heliosphere. Upon crossing the heliopause, Voyager 2 recorded a notable increase in cosmic rays, highlighting the heliosphere's critical role as a protective shield, including for Earth. The spacecraft also measured the magnetic field at the edge of the solar system and found that the interstellar magnetic field's direction closely resembled the Sun's magnetic field. This unexpected discovery hinted at an interaction between the two fields, challenging existing theories about the solar and interstellar boundary and paving the way for further scientific exploration. Voyager 2 documented significant changes in cosmic ray behavior after crossing into interstellar space. Within the heliosphere, the solar wind acts as a partial shield, protecting the solar system from high-energy particles. Beyond the heliopause, however, the spacecraft encountered a much greater intensity of cosmic rays, confirming the heliosphere's role as a protective barrier against cosmic radiation. Additionally, Voyager 2's data revealed the heliopause as a dynamic and ever-changing boundary. The heliosphere expands and contracts in response to solar activity, demonstrating the complex interaction between the Sun and the interstellar environment. These findings highlight the non-uniform and intricate nature of the boundary. After crossing the heliopause, Voyager 2 entered interstellar space and began investigating the interstellar medium. It detected a cold, dense plasma environment distinctly different from the hot, low-density plasma of the solar wind. These observations provided a rare opportunity to study the conditions of space between stars, offering valuable insights into the formation and evolution of our galaxy. What does this mean for us? Voyager 2's journey enhances our understanding of the Sun's protective bubble and its interaction with the surrounding space. This knowledge is crucial for future space missions and expanding our knowledge of the universe beyond our solar system. It's like discovering the boundary of our cosmic neighborhood and glimpsing the vast universe beyond. Crossing the heliopause marked a historic milestone, officially taking Voyager 2 from the solar system into interstellar space. Even billions of miles away from Earth, Voyager 2 continues to send back invaluable data, transforming our view of the space between stars. Its discoveries about solar wind, cosmic rays, and interstellar space have changed how we see our place in the cosmos.
This small spacecraft, launched many years ago, continues to inspire with its remarkable journey into the unknown. Voyager 2's exploration at the edge of the solar system provides crucial insights that will greatly influence future missions. These discoveries set a foundational understanding for studying the interstellar medium and its interactions with stars, including our Sun. The knowledge gained will guide upcoming missions like the Interstellar Probe, which aims to travel further into interstellar space and build on Voyager's incredible legacy. Two pioneering spacecraft, by analyzing data from both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, scientists have deepened their understanding of the solar system's boundary. Although both spacecraft crossed the heliopause, they experienced slightly different conditions, revealing the asymmetric shape of the heliosphere. These variations indicate that external factors, such as the local interstellar magnetic field and pressure, play a role in shaping the heliosphere. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched by NASA in 1977, remain some of the most remarkable milestones in space exploration. Originally designed to study the outer planets and beyond, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were built with nearly identical specifications and shared similar objectives, yet they followed distinct paths and made unique discoveries throughout their missions. In this exploration, we'll delve into the similarities and differences between the two spacecraft, showcasing how they complemented each other in enhancing humanity's knowledge of both the solar system and interstellar space. Launched in 1977 as part of NASA's Bold Voyager program, Voyager 2 took off first on August 20th, with Voyager 1 following on September 5th. Despite being launched later, Voyager 1 was set on a faster trajectory, enabling it to reach its planetary targets ahead of Voyager 2. Both spacecraft were designed to take advantage of a rare alignment of the outer planets, which occurs roughly every 176 years, enabling them to visit multiple planets using gravitational slingshots. Voyager 1 focused on Jupiter and Saturn, providing groundbreaking data and images of these gas giants and their moons. One of its most famous discoveries was the detailed observation of Jupiter's Great Red Spot and the active volcanoes on its moon Io, the first evidence of volcanic activity beyond Earth. At Saturn, Voyager 1 studied the planet's intricate ring system and its largest moon, Titan, whose dense atmosphere was of great scientific interest. Voyager 2 had a longer planetary mission, not only visiting Jupiter and Saturn, but also making historic stops at Uranus and Neptune, becoming the first and only spacecraft to explore these ice giants up close. During its encounter with Uranus, Voyager 2 uncovered its tilted magnetic field and discovered 10 new moons. When it reached Neptune, it captured breathtaking images of the planet's deep blue atmosphere and detected the fastest winds in the solar system. After completing its flyby of Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 was sent upward out of the solar system's plane to study the interstellar medium, while Voyager 2 continued its journey through the plane of the solar system to explore Uranus and Neptune. These differing trajectories allowed the two spacecraft to provide complementary perspectives on the outer solar system and beyond. Both spacecraft eventually crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. Voyager 1 crossed first in August 2012, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space, detecting a dramatic drop in solar wind particles and an increase in cosmic rays. Voyager 2 followed in November 2018. Unlike Voyager 1, Voyager 2's plasma instrument was still functional at the time, providing direct measurements of plasma density and a deeper understanding of the transition from the solar wind to the interstellar medium. Despite its age and immense distance from Earth, Voyager 2 continues to expand the limits of human understanding, inspiring future generations to reach even farther into the cosmos.